four musicians from the Brothers Grimm. There was once a donkey who had worked for his master for many years, carrying heavy sacks of corn to the mill. When the donkey became old and was no longer able to do his work, his master decided to kill him and sell his skin. That night, the donkey decided to escape. I may be old and weak, he thought, but my voice is as strong as ever. I'll go to the town of Bremen become a musician. And so that night, he ran away. He had not gone far when he saw a dog lying in the road, looking very sad. Hello, old dog, why do you look so unhappy? asked the donkey. I'm getting old, said the dog. I was once a strong hunting dog, but now that I'm old and weak, I can't hunt anymore. My master wanted to kill me, so I ran away. But how can I earn my food now? Well, why not come along with me, said the donkey. I'm going to Bremen to become a musician. A donkey and a dog could sing together nicely. Oof, oof. I'll come said the dog. They had not gone far when they saw a cat sitting in the middle of the road, looking very sad. Hello, old cat, why do you look so unhappy? asked the donkey. My life is in danger, said the cat. I am getting old and my teeth are no longer sharp. I like to sit by the fire instead of chasing mice. And this morning my mistress tried to drown me, so I ran away. But where am I to go? Why not come with us, said the donkey. We're going to Bremen to become town musicians. A donkey, a dog and a cat could sing together nicely. Meow, meow, I'll come, said the cat. The three animals had not gone far when they saw a rooster sitting on a fence, crowing with all his strength. Hello, old cock, what are you screeching about? asked the donkey. I'm frightened, said the rooster. Every morning when the sun comes up, I crow loud and strong to wake the farmer and his wife. But today I heard the farmer tell his wife to cook me for Sunday dinner. So I'm crowing while I still can. Why not come with us, said the donkey. We're going to Bremen to become musicians. A donkey, a dog, a cat and a rooster could make wonderful music together. cock a doo doo I'll come, said the rooster. But Bremen was far away and the animals could not reach it that day. That evening, tired and hungry, they left the road and went into the forest to find a place to sleep. The donkey and the dog lay down under a large tree. The cat climbed up into its branches and the rooster flew to the top of the tree where he felt safest. Before he went to sleep, the rooster looked round about him. Far off, he saw something bright and shining. I see a light, he told the others. It must be a house. Well, let's go and have a look, said the donkey. There may be a barn with some hay for me to eat. And I might be able to get a few bones with some meat on them, said the dog. And I might get some milk, said the cat. And there may be some scraps of food for me, said the rooster. So the animals made their way through the forest towards the house. When they reached it, the donkey, who was tallest, went to the window and looked in. What do you see? asked the dog. I see guns and swords and chests of money and all sorts of stolen things, said the donkey. 
This is a robber's house, he whispered. Let's get away, said the cat. Wait. The robbers are sitting at a table full of food and drink. Food, said the dog hungrily. And drink, said the cat thirstily. If only we could drive them away, said the rooster. And so they worked out a plan. The donkey stood on his hind legs with his front feet on the windowsill. The dog jumped onto the donkey's shoulders. The cat climbed onto the dog's back. And the rooster flew up and perched on top of the cat. When they were all ready, the donkey gave the signal. And they burst through the window. <laughs> The dog barked, the cat meowed, and the rooster crowed. The robbers were terrified. They thought they were being attacked by a monster. They ran out of the house and into the forest. The animals sat down at the table and ate and ate and ate. When they had licked and pecked the plates clean, they put out the light and looked for a place to sleep. The donkey lay down on a heap of straw in the yard. The dog stretched himself on the mat by the door. The cat curled up in front of the warm ashes in the fireplace. And the rooster flew up onto the roof. They were all so tired that they soon fell fast asleep. From the forest, the robbers saw that everything in the house was quiet. We shouldn't let ourselves be frightened so easily, said the robber captain. I'll stay here. You go and find out what really happened. And so one robber went nervously back to the house. Everything was quiet. He went into the dark kitchen and could not see a thing. Just then, the cat woke. Her two eyes shone as she watched him. The robber thought they were live coals and reached down to get a light. Meow! shrieked the cat, spitting and scratching at the robber's face. Yipe! screamed the robber. He ran towards the door and stepped on the dog. Oh! growled the dog and bit his leg. No! screamed the robber and ran out into the yard past the heap of straw. Eeyo! growled the donkey. He kicked the robber and sent him flying. Yowp! screamed the robber and woke the rooster on the roof. shrieked the rooster, flapping his wings. The robber ran back to the forest as fast as his legs could carry him. Oh, we can't live in that house anymore, he told the others. First, a horrible witch spat at me and scratched me with her long nails. I ran for the door and a man stabbed me in the leg with a knife. I ran into the yard and a monster hit me with a big wooden club. And on the roof, sat the devil, waving his arms and screaming, Cut the man in two! Cut the man in two! The robbers turned their backs and ran. And they never, never came back. The four animals liked the house so much that they never went to Bremen to become musicians after all. Every evening, after supper, they sing together. They make a dreadful noise. And since there is no one to hear them, they think to this day they are the finest musicians in the world. <laughs>